This thing is working incredible, Carlos. Unbelievable. It isn't even fired up yet. That's just to keep it from flying away on This thing's output is insane. It's like 80 degrees out. Watch how much water that was. We probably weren't boiling this much, but close to it. Give it a second here. Wow. That truck is boiled out. So that's the flow or approximate flow of water we were boiling. Pretty huge amount of water be boiling instantly, in my opinion. All right, fellas, we're gonna shut this down till nighttime. I need to observe the flame, and it's too bright out to do that. I do want to point out the color of this top strut is showing us that it got to approximately 400 degrees I think is straw color someone can correct me in the comments if you'd like we know we're getting hot at the exhaust so this coil is putting in work I made this thing as big as it is for efficiency it could have actually been this thick but we would have lost a lot of energy um, tell you right now the performance of this coil has just blown away anything I've seen <laughs> this is only about 70 to 80 feet of coil we still have to put the preheat coil underneath that burner it'll get red hot so let's wait till nightfall we'll run the test again and uh, We'll get a better observation of that flame. Then we're going to inspect the boiler. See if any problems are noted. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright fellas, here we are. We're getting ready to do a test. On just this portion of the boiler. Now, in the video of me building this, I made some comments. I was going back and forth on co-flow versus counterflow. 
and I think I'm gonna go back to Cove Flow, and here's why. If we go with counter flow, this will be the discharge line. So we'll have a entrained flow traveling through this portion of the coil, boiling away, possibly being converted into superheated steam. Um, mono tube boilers are different than tank boilers. You, the steam charts and all that stuff don't apply. Um, you can superheat steam in a mono tube boiler without being at the pressures needed that would be displayed on steam charts and all that stuff. Somebody was making some comments about that a while back. But uh, anyway, if we go with co-flow, this will be the discharge. Kind of. It's kind of counter flow, but not really. I think I want to make this the discharge port because I want most of the boiling to be going on down here because this is a bigger tube and it can handle more calcium and lime buildup. This here would clog up way faster. We're, we are gonna be cleaning these coils out with a hydrochloric acid solution or muriatic acid solution, maybe even just vinegar. Vinegar will do it too if you circulate it through the coil, but I think I'm gonna make this the discharge and this the intake to protect this portion of the coil from scorching because this burner is not no joke. It will have this rod red hot. I'm also worried about this rod expanding and busting my weld joint here. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully it just tries to bend this. So, it's only gonna grow about a sixteenth of an inch, but that's still quite a bit of pressure. Let's get this underway. I'll tell you what, Los, this thing is gonna be gnarly, dude. We ain't even got the preheater hooked up yet. That burner did not have time to get red hot yet. So, this thing is gonna be insane, dude. I'm telling you that right now. Thank you. 